welcome everyone so today we are going to solve a very interesting problem these kind of problems if you look closely are asked in ssc cgl this is also asked in ssc cgl okay but before beginning with these kind of a difficult looking ones we'll start with easier ones and understand the concept first okay so first we have what we have to find the lcm of 2 0.2 and 0.02 now understand first you will write all of them in your digit form so we'll just ignore the decimals now what happens is see in order to write this particular number in decimal i had to multiply by what thousand here i had to multiply by 10 here i had to this particular number i didn't have to multiply anything but since the highest number which i had to multiply was thousand so here also i will multiply by thousand so now this number becomes what 200 and this number then when multiplied by 1000 see see even if i didn't have to multiply but since i'm multiplying one of them with the highest number we'll multiply the rest also with the highest number so here this is becoming 2000 so now obviously out of these the lcm now becomes what 2000 because that number is getting completely divided by what 200 as well as but in order to find your final answer, you have to remember that what number was the one which you are multiplying in order to make them in their digit forms. Okay, so here you are multiplying by 1000. So you will divide your answer also by 1000. So once you divide, your answer comes out to be just 2. Okay, now let's go on to the next one. So we have 3. 3 is just a number, so we'll write it as 3. Here, 1.5 we'll write as what? Uh, 15 so here i had to multiply by 10 so obviously here also i'll multiply by 10 so this now becomes what 30 now in order to find the lcm between 30 and 15 we can definitely say the lcm is just what 30 why because 15 is completely dividing 30 but in order to find your final answer we will divide the number by what the number which was getting multiplied initially so we'll divide it by 10. So your final answer for this one is just 3. Students, I hope I'm making myself very, very clear. Now students, if in case you all don't know how to find your LCM, I will put up the link of that somewhere on the top as well as at the end of the video. Please go ahead and check it out because that is like one of the best ways to find LCM and it will give you 100% the right answer. Okay, now coming to the tricky ones, the ones which was uh, which were asked in SSC CGL. So here again we have what, now we have two decimals, okay. But both of them if you multiply by 10, your problem gets solved. Okay, now in order to find LCM, now understand. When you have to find LCM which looks very very tricky because none of the numbers are going in each other's table as of now. What we'll start with is we'll start with the highest number. So we'll multiply 27 by 2. So, we will get what? 54. Now, 54 is not getting divided by 12. Then, we will multiply 27 by 3. We will get what? 81. Now, again, 81 is also not getting divided by 12. Then, we will try and multiply 27 by 4. We are getting what? 8 to carry. So, 108. Now, if you look closely, 12 into 9 gets you what? 108. So, I can say that 12 is completely dividing the number 108. So, your LCM is nothing but what? 108. But your final answer will, don't forget, please understand, you cannot forget this particular step because here you had multiplied by 10 to each of these decimals to make it in their normal digit form. So, here also you will divide by 10. So, your final answer is now coming out to be what? 10.8. Okay, I hope this is very, very clear to everyone. Okay, so now let's try and do this one. This one is quite tricky as compared to what we have done till now. So again, we'll multiply this by what? 10. This also by 10. But this gets to get multiplied by what? 1000. So obviously this also gets multiplied by 1000 and this also gets multiplied by 1000. So your numbers now change and we get what? 3, 6, double, 0. Then we have 1800 and then we have 144. Now, please look closely. 1800 cut direct double is what? 3600. So, we can take 3600 as of now. And we'll check whether that is completely dividing 144. If yes, then that is your LCM. Okay. 
so now while checking the division thing you will have to directly see understand while doing this you can do by the division by 2 and then 4 and whatever but see you have to always try and find the common highest common number so here you see 1 plus 4 plus 4 that gets you what this is coming out to be 9 this is also coming out to be 9 so both of them are going in 9 stable so let's do this so which is 1 and 16 9 into 16 gets you 144 and 9 into 400 gets you 3600 right now again <clears throat> i can cancel this 16 so what i can do is um fours are so i get this is hundreds are four ones are and 25 are so i can say that 144 is completely dividing 3600 so my lcm is nothing but what 3600 but that is not my final answer please remember please remember this we have 1000 over here so again we will divide by 1000 as well so your final answer then shifts to what just 3.6 okay i hope this is like the best trick <clears throat> and i hope you all have understood how to do this if you have then please go ahead and hit the like button because that literally gives me a lot of encouragement in doing these kind of videos okay now understand apart from this i have also made a video of lcm of fractions if you have any doubt please go ahead and check it out that also is wonderful when it comes to fractions okay now before going ahead and giving you your DIY, I want to solve one tricky question first and then we will go ahead and solve the DIY. So here we have again 3, 0 0.21 and this is 8.4. So here I am multiplying by 100. So obviously I am multiplying everywhere by 100. Students please understand if you have any doubts, always pick the lowest number in the decimal. Okay, and then convert it into a number. So, you get 21. So, since you converted this by multiplying 100, the rest also gets multiplied by 100. This is 840 and this is 300. Okay, so here now what will happen is, see this is why this was tricky. Because see, 80, 21 gets completely divided by 840. Or rather, 840 gets completely divided by 21. But that does that is not the case with 300. Okay. So, in this case, what we'll do is, we'll start multiplying 840 by 2, by 3, by 4, by 5. Now, why have I not written the answers for 2, 3, 4 and 5, uh, 4? Because, see, understand, if I multiply also, my last two digits will not be double zeros. And anything to get divided completely by 300, I want my final answer to be in the form of two digit, two zeros at the end. So, when I multiply 840 by 5, my final answer comes out to be what? 4200. Okay. And that completely gets divided by 300. So, answer for this one is what? 4200 divided by 100. So, answer for this one is nothing but just 42. Now, coming for your DIY, please tell me what will be the answer of LCM of 0 0.3. 0 0.03 uh, 0 0.003 do let me know your answers in the comment section that's it for today i will see you in the next video